everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Quick analysis of everything that I had said uh, in a previous moment in regards to the, the uh, quarter four reports. Uh, do you not want to go through and compare cover and any colors resorts results I've gone through and I have like taken this person has, has gone through and taken over everything to see how everything's going total revenue 2024 fiscal year covered 30.166 million yen any color 31 million yen and remember covers about like half the size of vtubers like half the amount of vtubers or like uh, a third less vtubers then um they're working with less they're doing more with less cost of sales cover is uh, like talent play platform fees all that type of stuff merchandise cost of merchandise so cover is spending more and they're making a little bit less but they're spending more compared to any color right here office expenses employee expenses etc again cover spends almost double on the quarter four compared to any color on employees expenses outsourcing logistics in the whole fiscal year uh, operating profit margins in the fiscal year cover has 13.7 percent any color because they go for profit margins they go for margins they don't spend a lot and they make a lot so they have a higher profit margin revenue percent growth year uh streaming on cover six percent events 313 percent so they grew three times on events merch 163 percent uh collabs 10 percent any color 10 they had 10 in and drop they dropped 10 percent in streaming events 12 percent merch 16 percent collabs 16 percent as well number of non-talent employees as of march 2024 509 for cover 430 for for uh any color and that what that means is that cover has less uh in the case of talents and stuff but they have more employees for other talents overall not going to provide any uh, any analysis i'm just putting the numbers there for you to interpret how you please sources the cover quarter four pdf we had a copy over total revenue from my notes. Uh, thanks for the summary, Internet Stranger. Even though cover has less revenue, it is uh, they seem to have more growth overall, which is because they are investing in the long term. So yes, maybe a year ago when they started investing in this stuff, their their margins were lower and everything like that. But they're doing a lot higher growth. They're doing a lot higher growth overall. For the fans, yes, cover is investing into talent growth and interest. Uh, to some stock buyers, bled doesn't see much income as expected. You know, the, the investors are going to see it as negative. But me, as a person, I see it as amazing. Operating profit margins, 13 to 38. New yacht goes choo-choo. That's the basic thing. They're doing that. This year, revenue growth, any cutter, 31.96. Cover, 30.166. It's a 47% growth on cover and 26% growth on uh, Nidhi Sanji. Uh, New year forecast, 21% growth on Nidhi Sanji, 20% growth. So cover is still very, very, very conservative on their growth expectations so yeah they're gonna grow they're definitely gonna grow but um nidhi sanji is less on investment and more on just growing as much as they can money wise this is a short portion of everything that is going on here when it comes to any color versus cover uh fiscal 2024 sales millions of yen they had nearly the same streaming talents per vtuber wiki is 86 to 177 so quite literally any color has double the streaming talents net sales per talent in millions of yen 350 million yen per talent on the side of cover in 2024 versus 180. So they've doubled per talent income, which is a number that I find very interesting. And the number that I find more important than a lot of things that people put out there is the per talent income. My understanding is some of AC talents have not graduated, have also not been active for a long time. However, in my opinion, there aren't enough uh, to make much difference. Also, just realized the title should have been any color cover. And, you know, basically showing the per talent income is a more important metric than the full income, in my opinion, at least. Again, with the overviews, we're looking at the support that they're doing right here. Of course, you can see, you know, the concept to audition to VTA to live streaming tools. They, you know, they're showing, they're giving them the apps. They're giving them the, uh, the actual uh, live 2D uh, designs, everything like that. Debut as a VTuber, Nidhi Sanji, and engage in live streaming and other activities. They're not saying anything about management. They're not saying anything about that, as I mentioned in uh, a previous video or section. Um, through development of streamer's technique and mindset. Yes, technique of here's the iPhone and here's your model. And the mindset of you're nothing without the company. At least that's what they've been showing so far. Do the streamers have pay for their avatars? The initial model is probably covered by Niji. They want 2D outfit. They probably need to pay themselves unless there's a favorite. As far as we're aware, most expensive are out of pocket. 
Yeah, most expenses, according to one girl's story, like even your debut, they don't cover you. Um, according to Zion and Sayu's one girl story, they don't cover your debut. A lot of people are in the red when it comes to that. Outfits are dependable and the 3.0 lotto is in their pocket. You are right. Lol, what a weird chart. They have got subsidized health checks after their debut. Uh, only now, after this whole thing happened, they started subsidizing health checks, which sucks. We're supporting the talents by allowing them to apply to our company. That definitely is a support system. And of course, it goes along with this, of stable progress of live streaming. Because for them, uh, per VTuber, it's dropping, but they don't care because their revenue is going up because they don't support their talents. So they don't actually spend a lot of money in there. And they're actually just, you know, making it so that they keep getting money. Negligible that they seem to have settled a certain lawsuit in the millions, you know, that type of thing. So yeah, they're not supporting their talents enough. That's my point. Again, a bit more overview of everything that's going on. This is specifically with the talent protection and development. They are responding to countermeasures, you know, for offensive and defamatory stuff with uh, cover and other things like that. They've established an anti-defamation study group and uh, as an institution for continuously producing long-term active VTubers, right here they're saying, uh, we have been running Virtual Talent Academy since 2021. And after their debut, they, uh, they do compliance training right now. After the Selen incident, they started doing compliance training system to subsidize the cost of health checkups which they hadn't done before according to what zion said they didn't subsidize anything uh, and support for counseling sessions so a lot of the 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 people who are now post nidhi sanji who have left nidhi sanji have said that nidhi sanji well have alluded to that nidhi sanji hasn't really been giving them a lot of support in general it is something where well, you got to subsidize didn't say whether it's full health checkups and counseling this countermeasures team put in buckshot in the company's foot by trying to shut down raziel and blue wide open their own incompetence again should they be deferring themselves for that oh wait that's what the legal docs uh they'll find out doing nothing wrong uh, also they think that they're going to have national diet dancing to their tune for everything that's the plan what's the point and the team of the paragraph above daily support by managers but they're pick and choose their daily and if the idea comes from stuck up rather than someone with aspirations and plan so yeah they're not they, they are this is just all lip service for their investors really it should also clarify those stuff, especially regarding slander, will only work in their country outside Japan, specifically Western countries. It won't be defamatory if the things that people say are based on truth and if they aren't meant in a malicious way. Like my stuff is never meant in a malicious way, so they can't get me for slander. Are people inside Niji also under the protection against offensive actions? Then, oh boy, they should have fired a couple of people already. Also remember in the uh, when it comes to the contract, I believe the contract itself says that they won't protect you against a lot of things internally, but they'll protect you, you know, I guess against defamation in this case. The drop on EN, as we've seen, we're going to cover a little bit just to kind of give you a little bit of a um, an overview on the EN stuff. It declined year on year from 1373 to 1074. So it had about a 22% drop year on year. Quarter on quarter was about 8%. Niji EN is growing my ass. They need JP sales. Maybe they're growing in numbers, but they're not growing in, like in actual VTubers, but they're not growing in actual like numbers numbers because they have more VTubers now. But like the actual numbers that matter to Niji Sanji, at least, which is the, the, the growth in, in uh, money, isn't doing anything. Uh, they merged EN with JP. They're probably going to be doing that in the chart in an attempt to hide just how poorly EN did. Because if they did their own thing, because the, the the bright red that is uh, JP and the other one is EN. So they're trying to make EN look less problematic, but it is big problematic. Like right now, EN's revenue overall is right here. It's 1074 versus 1373, you know, that kind of stuff. It's all dropping 1952 to 1074. This is just in the uh, EN side. And it is the Sanji EN revenue more easily understood here. The revenue was from 1630 in quarter one of fiscal year 2023 to 1074 on uh, quarter four. And it went from 19, 1373 in quarter four to uh, from quarter to quarter from year on year. It's 24% drop. 1373 to 1074. Just focusing more on the EN revenue here. Green is promotion. Yellow is events. Commerce is orange. And live streaming is there. Commerce and live streaming has, you know, more than anything. Uh, commerce has more than anything. And the green is promotion, so they didn't promote EN very much, as we already know, because they're not promoting EN as much as the RJP. Just a little bit of overview that I wanted you guys to see on the EN side. This is specifically the EN, the JP buyback. They're going to be trying to stabilize the, the stock by doing a stock buyback. It is a desperation move on the Sanji's end because they're seeing that their, their stuff is going down. Everything is going down. So they're trying to do that. And what this person is saying is the type of shares acquired is common stock. Total number of stocks that will be repurchased is up to 4 million stocks, the upper limit. And total amount to be paid 
for repurchase up to 7.5 billion yen, the upper limit. So they're going to be buying 7.5 billion yen worth of stocks and up to 4 million stocks uh, in total. So that's a lot of stocks being bought. Glass up the report to buy back before it drops. Does the circuit breaker reset at 700 yen? They have another meeting next month, right? What other legal assholes can they do? I see them offering a dividend with the quarter one results to know why. Uh, previous day's closing, uh, daily price limits of yen. Less than, oh, these are the price limit of changes in yen. 500, if it's less than 5,000, if less than 3,000, it's 500. Less than 2,000, it's 400. So the value range will be that. And again, continuing that, the uh, stock will, will go up. A stock price on the proprietary trading system, it is, um, you know, going to be moving up. That's what they're saying. It's going to be going up to 2,600, 2,700. It's what's expected to happen for the growth because they're going to be buying back. The buyback has been announced. The buyback is going to be done June 13th, which it is, I believe, getting to be that point soon in Japan. So that's the expected growth of what is going to be happening. They're expected to go to 2,700, just about. And Riku Tazumi saying, uh, regarding the decision to matters related to stock repurchase, the reason for repurchase, company has been continuously generating a large amount of cash while maintaining a high growth rate. It announced that it will be doing a medium-term capital allocation to optimally allocate investments for growth. So they're trying to help their own growth, which is what it's saying here. In order to improve capital efficiency, and enhance returns, blah, blah, blah. They're basically saying we're trying to give more returns to the investors. We're trying to make ourselves look better. We're trying to make it look very good for everything going on. Inside, they repurchase stocks of their own shares. So they're trying to basically pump up the numbers from what I'm seeing here. So Sora, which is Generation Zero, she is the OG for anybody in uh, Hollow Life cover. Uh, she's promoting Gen Zero merch for Billy Billy. This is, at least we know it's it's just not just a Kobo thing. <clears throat> Hopefully it means cover knows what they're doing. Assume it's basically goes hand in hand with what they said about financials moving from looking for debuts to primary generators of revenue to are trying to increase the amount of generated per revenue. Generally don't care much about them selling merch or whatnot. It's just a problem if they decide to start uploading streams there. Yeah. So yeah, they're doing they're doing basically a, a, an announcement of all this type of stuff. You have all these these things here, really cute stuff. Things that they could send them. Oh, they even have live to the emotion ones. Very nice. It's all digital stuff. It looks like. Ah,、okay. skins and everything. Okay. So they're doing a lot of stuff there. They're doing emotes, the stamps, the, the,、uh, that looks like membership stuff too. So, yeah, they're doing, they're doing a lot of stuff here. So that's 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 good for Hollow Life. I mean, it's a, it looks like it's just merchandise. It looks like they're just trying to promote merchandise, which is not a bad thing. It's not a horrible thing. This person here is worried about the fact the cover hasn't said anything in regards to the Billy Billy stuff because Kobo is streaming there, uh, Soda is doing stuff there, the Zero Generation is doing stuff there. What I think they're doing, what I've heard, is they're using an agency to kind of be an, a, a go between, so that they don't have to actually have a headquarters in China, but they can still do stuff in China. From what I've heard. They haven't talked about Matsuri making an appearance. Um, they're making an appearance at a specific like games thing, like a games uh, expo or con or whatever, or、um, event. They're making an, an event appearance along with Kobo. Soda apparently going to tell them about Akubi merchandise. No details whatsoever. Implies that they knew full well that Western audiences would react poorly, keeping it as quiet as possible to somehow lessen the blow. It's done the opposite for me though. So a lot of people, yeah. Cover likely felt impaled in comparison to the previous Mainlander backlash. They'll probably be right. Most Westerners. According to this person, have more important things to do than defend their country's pride and what on YouTube reviewers still find it perplexing and assume they must have received many an apology from Billy Billy on behalf of mainlanders. I doubt you will ever see Halloween participate, maybe, but Myth still has Billy Billy accounts and they must have had plans for it before it all went south. That apology should be made public then and should be more towards the talents and former talents affected by harassment. We're talking about the people who went out of their way to race tiny Hollow Life cameos and references out of animes. B2 is running pretty man. Uh, by pretty man children, petty man children. I feel very much doubt an apology was made. Many have already pointed out, and this myriad of posts and topic recently cover is most likely just testing the waters. Yeah, they're testing to see if it's something that it's actually worth it or not. Personal biases aside, company at the end of the day, their MO is to make money. And if China will make the money, they're going to go back, of course. And I'm going to be watching them like a hawk. 
because now that they're going back to, to China, if they start changing things around, they start being like, you know, I don't know, negative things start happening and they don't do anything to protect their talents. That's when I'm going to start going on HoloLens, but just like I've gone on Niji Sandy's, but I'm an equal opportunity butt kicker. Um, statement might come eventually, but they don't want to rush anything while nothing isn't set in stone. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a test in the waters thing. Hopefully it goes well for them and they don't get any backlash. This is something that is affecting both Niji Sanji and, and Cover, Hollow Life, and, uh, you know, any color, all those type of things. They're affecting the same. Billy Billy has been promoting both Vox, Finana, um, and Matsuri, as you can see in the bottom right, and Kobo for the Shanghai Neck Hong Kong Arena uh, show. The Billy Billy Macro Link, which they have here. I'm not going to do the music, of course, because that's just like, holy crap. Star Phase, they're having, oh, this is something else. This is something totally different. But yeah, I wasn't able to find the macro link thingy that they had, the original macro link. I was trying to find it, but I wasn't able to find it. The only one you could find here, because I tried looking for BML underscore 2022. They deleted it. The account doesn't exist. So take it with a grain of salt, but it looks like, yes, this is true, because I saw it on Hololive uh, boards that they were talking about it as well. It looks like so far this is true. If it's true, it probably just looks like, you know, um, they're going to be, you know, Hololive is, is testing the waters with these two semi-safe people in the uh, in the outside community of china but of course you have taiwan so i don't know how the chinese mainlanders were gonna feel about this so it says wondering the same though that the poor two who need to compete with the rain kusugaki and Godsuri had to look up the stream supas and see how uh how it's going like how, the percentage wise is it might even better option Fogar and maria yeah the most collabs with virtual real Ma maria specifically uh since she did the most of en and catering to the chinese market I have a fitness whole thing is a lot of companies testing the waters, see how they can do in the CN market, see if it's worth investing any time or money. Vox stumbled, Alira fell flat, and their big names already graduated. So yeah, this is this is a testing the waters, especially for Hololive, because if you remember, they had the Kirio Coco incident. They have that type of stuff that they have to worry about. So they may not be seen positively by the mainlanders, but we don't know because I think Billy Billy may be reaching out to cover right now to try to get them in the same in the in their pockets in the, in the same you know sphere. Uh, so that that is a thing. Uh, in regards to that and i hope that it works well and that they don't get hurt like hachama and kiryu koko did we have an indie vtuber who has um who has had issues right now with a specific situation that they're going through the specific situation that they're going through is they have a uh enormous brain tumor and by enormous i do mean pretty damn big look at that that's like at least 10 percent of her brain that's pretty big it's a pretty big tumor it's scary I've always believed in, it's like, last night I was diagnosed with a gigantic silly shrimp-sized brain tumor. They're taking, you know, a bit of a funny way of seeing it, which is great. The positivity is wonderful. I love it. Shrimp Cyber Prawn is the one. I always believe in living every day as I could be your last. Since ever I started streaming, I've done exactly that. Spending time with you all has been the greatest joy in my life. Two, this Thursday we'll be going through surgery to remove it. The doctors say I have good odds and in good spirits. Road recovery will be long. I don't know when I'll be back, but I love you guys with all my heart. She's going to be in the hospital for a while. It's a brain tumor. They have to go into the brain, separate both lobes of the brain, and go in there. So that's aggressive. That is like that is a lot to go after. So that is going to be a problem for them uh, in the sense that it is just very sensitive and they are going to have to take a long road to recovery. It's possible they may even need to learn how to re relearn how to walk. They may have to relearn a lot of things, motor functions, talking, all those things. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a brain surgeon, so I don't know how far it can go, but it can go pretty far. Still alive update. I did not expect this to go this far. I did a lot of new tests today, and Neuro Team thinks it's something called central neurocytoma type of tumor, usually benign. But we won't know for certain until they get in and biopsy it. They suspect it's been slowly growing for multiple years and only recently became symptomatic as it's grown large enough to apply pressure to other areas of the brain. Please know my pain is being managed at well, and the only symptoms I'm suffering from now are visual auras, like visual things like that. She's showing it. Vision is wild. It's like someone put a weird core TikTok filter on it, which has prompted me to go to the ER. Initially, if you Google ocular migraine, you'll see pretty good depiction of it. But here's my fo poor Photoshop. So yeah, you're seeing auras and other things in there. She has, my doctors are very confident they're going to be able to fully remove it, which is great. Uh, without coming back and the odds of permanent complications are relatively low, which is very good. I uh, was fully expecting to be told I would be a vegetable after this, though a possibility is technically still there. My doctors reassured me it's very low. So that's also good. The confidence they have is also very good. I'm a, I'm a fighter and I will not take me out. I effing love being alive. This world is crazy, uh, but it's beautiful and I want to see it all live a good, long, shim shrimpy life. Recovery will be the hardest part, but I will, I'll be with you by my side. So, you know, it says at the end, it says, I have no words to describe how grateful I am for the support I've received. It's really made an impact on me and I'm feeling as happy as ever. Love y'all and remember 
to tell the people in your lives that you love them too. I try to do that every night to my family. I keep updating as things progress. So that is their full story on this whole thing. It's great that it has a good prognosis, which means that they can remove it and things will be good. You know, all that kind of stuff, you know, Gambate, of course. And yeah, it's, it's serious stuff. It's serious to, to have to go through all this. But I'm glad that they are going to be going through it with the positivity that they have and with good spirits usually come good prognosis. So my, my well wishes and my best hope and desires for them to be well. If you all remember, Heights was one of the first big uh, sponsors to drop Niri Sanji because honestly, what they were trying to do is going for, um, they were trying to get Selene. So in trying to get Selene, um, when they were trying to go for Selene, they weren't given the chance to do that. They weren't given the chance to do anything like that. Um, and it became a problem. So right here they have Doki 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 Height is having their birthday booth for Doki Bird. It is, uh, it's basically just saying, you know, it's an actually hilarious, entirely possible for the location to be directly next to Nidhi Sanji was planned sometime last year and intended to be set up prominently to display the Height case stuff. So we're going to go into uh, Height themselves and take a look. Here is Height, the organization that is doing that. They're, you know, basically, that's right. Uh, IBP and Height are going to throw, I buy power and Height are going to throw a birthday party at Anime Expo. Don't worry, Dragoons, it's still going to be going to special birthday stream after those. It's going to be uh, basically, it's going to be right next to, uh, from what I've seen, it's going to be right next to everything that's going on. Um, the, the IBP, the I buy power, GG, Doki Bird EX here. They're going to be celebrating her birthday. The meet and greet panel is 7, 4 at 1 p.m. Karaoke panel, the meet and greet is 7, 6. Uh, they're going to be having... The, you know, all these things are going to be fun. It's going to be on July 4th, the 4th of July. I'm going to be with family and stuff like that. So it's going to be a little bit different. But yeah, they're going to be uh, five ways to enter. It's non-transferable. The giveaway will not provide you with Anime Expo badge. You must have an Anime Expo badge to go there. Those little rules, you know, five ways to enter. It's a nice thing to have. So ready to celebrate. It's going to be very fun. It's going to be a lot of fun and good stuff. And they have um, the Entertainment Hall 01. They put the big VTuber boost next to each other. You're seeing right here where you're going to have Bandai Namco. You have Height right here in E40. And E70 and E65 are Nidhi Sanji, Ian, and Nidhi Sanji themselves. And that's the issue. That's what's going to happen here. Luckily, it's going to be good times for Doki. It's going to be very fun. Kilia Kuriyama was going to be playing uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. But what ended up happening here? I'm really sorry stream is canceled and further streams. I came back from a toilet break with everything up in flames. My PC, my monitors, everything gone. I'm safe though, so please don't worry. And, you know, we have other things here. It's saying uh, things like, um, you know, uh, everything got burned. Wait, I'm so sorry, my kid Kilia. I'm so sorry. If there's anything I can do, please let me know. They're probably going to be doing some kind of, um, you know, fixing for this whole situation. Something going on, hopefully. It says, Chio Chumpo is actually on fire. Oh my God, I'm so happy you're safe. Sorry about your stream. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm glad you, you and your family are safe. Hopefully nothing else caught fire. Uh, hopefully, like they were able to stop it before it became a big issue. Uh, you better be okay. You're here. I'm so sorry, Kilia. Please, please, please let me know if you need anything. Okay, I love you. People are giving them a lot of love, which they deserve. And I do hope that things work positively for them. I hope things go well for them. And I hope that things go, uh, they are able to recover, recuperate, go past all this and just get better the memes mason we all love the memes important policies and midterm management goals their expected average annual growth of 10 to 15 percent invest in nurturing top vtubers there's no favoritism in Sanji. x to doubt uh so yeah they're basically showing that there's favoritism in Sanji by saying they're investing and nurturing top vtubers who will lead the industry through the development and growth of unit production which means if you're not popular you get screwed there's X to doubt with no favoritism. They said planning in commerce area as well to avoid opportunity loss and expand sales opportunities through schedule management. And it's, yeah, uh, no favoritism. Yeah, right. They're showing favoritism just in that. Uh, another Niji Sanji Cordy for a report meme. Niji JP is propping up Niji EN because EN lost 22% year on year and 8% quarter on quarter. Uh, EN is losing because of the fact of uh, the Selen thing. It really screwed them over. And yeah, it drops. So the last one that we're going to have for today is I have Doki Bird, I have Mint Phantom. Ugh, Mintoki! I have a Doki Bird, I have a Mint Phantom. Ugh, Mintoki! That is a pineapple pen. That's a pineapple pen person. They did the, the Mintara and now they have Mintoki. Cute as hell. I love it. It's cute as hell. 
That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.